the crowd is still zeked up about the draft. Joining us now, the general manager of the Indianapolis Colts, who just brought Leatu Latu into Indianapolis. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Ballard. Hey, yeah. Chris! Look at that hair. Whoa. Thank you. Man. So cool. <laughs> so cool right now, Chris. The hair, the, ja the jawline. You look awesome. <laughs> hey, okay, Chris, we don't want to take up too much of your time. We appreciate you uh, stopping by. Leatu no, Latu. Hey, no problem. You come every year. You're the man. There's uh, There was a potential neck, a little bit of an injury, some medicals. He passed your board, I assume, with the doctors. And why did you go with uh, edge or pass rusher in the first round this year, Chris? Well, one, I don't think you can ever go wrong <laughs> drafting guys that can rush the pass. Uh, and, and we thought very highly of him. And two years, two years of play time on the neck, we felt comfortable with where he is and where he's at. Got yep. two years of really good tape. Um, and he just adds fuel. We we think our front has got a chance to be a, a pretty special now, you know, with the addition of lots of. Well, C.J. Stroud obviously in the division having the year that he had last year and with what the Tennessee Titans are doing, the AFC South has gotten better quickly. Are you drafting for AFC South reasons, for total team reasons? Is he the highest guy on the board? Or what do you think the final decision was made for Latu at the time? I don't, I don't think you can ever have enough rushers, um, no matter – I mean, and just in a team building setting, and we always do what's best for the team. Um, and we we had Latu pretty high on the board. Being the first defensive player taken in this draft, um, we were a little shocked that, you know, that we, we had a feeling it could happen, but excited that it happened. Yeah, we're pumped too. I got a chance to watch him in college, obviously. Electrifying. And yep. sweet name. Matt Mel has a question for you, Chris. Yeah, Chris. No, that he does. Well, oh, listen, okay. hey, when oh. we talked at the scouting combine, I told you, hey, listen, you guys got knees at cornerback. You got knees at tight end. You got knees at receiver. We didn't exactly discuss edge rusher or D end. Um, are you considering maybe moving back up into the first round after this pick and kind of filling out your roster with one of those guys who I suggested you take in, in order to kind of take the Colts over that hump and get you back into the playoffs? Well, I wouldn't tell you if we were. Thank first you. Thing. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Go to hell, man. Wow. Well, let's stop trying and to we think there's some good players in the second, third. You know, there's always, like, it's always great to hear the pundits talk about what they think is good in the draft. We think there's good depth at, at you know, throughout the draft at different positions. So we think we'll be able to, to, to help our team going forward as we uh, get into the second, third, and fourth rounds. Darius has a question for you, Chris. Hey, Chris, great to see you. Great pick. Add hey, to another strength to you. on that team. Uh, I want to ask you about our quarterback, our franchise guy, Anthony Rich. And obviously, we've seen him a little bit on social media. But how is he doing? How is his spirit? And how is he physically right now? No, physically really good. Watched him throw 65 balls yesterday. So he looks really good. Um, spirit's good. Um, now it's just, you know, continuing to finish his rehab up and, um, be ready for OTAs when we start that up here, phase two here in a week. Hey, Chris, obviously leading into the draft, there's a bunch of bull narratives. We're a part of the problem every single day. We know that. Connor has a question for you, Chris. Yeah, Chris, obviously with the Marvin Harrison connection, there was that thought that Jim Irsay comes in smoking a cigarette or two and saying, hey, Chris, I don't care who you want. Trade up and go get him. Was that ever a thought for you guys, or were you always sitting, Pat, comfortable with whoever fell to you? We, we always have discussions on is there a, ch a chance to get up if we think there's a special player. Um, you know, this year it worked out. We stayed at 15 and took a guy we, that we thought was the best player on the board. Okay, Chris, we appreciate you. There's been a trade. Another defensive tackle has been taken. And you have a rest of the weekend to continue to build our program in Indy. We appreciate you, pal. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for having me on. Anything to say to Bill? Coach Belichick, when you come back in the league, go in the NFC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Ballard. Yeah, Chris. Great lettuce.